Now, Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. It's a warm day here across Central Illinois. That's the view in Champaign. Nice blue sky, right? How are we going to get storms when there's a blue sky, not a cloud in sight here? Well, a couple of things. First off, temperature 84. Look at our dew point, though. Our dew point is down at 50. We do have some slightly drier air that's in place here, but a surge of moisture from the south is going to help bring back some of that moisture as we head into the afternoon. Uh, really quiet here for us now. Our low pressure still swirling rolling over in the Dakotas and Minnesota and there's a front right here that is coming our direction and ahead of that front uh, some moisture streaming on in now there's that tornado watch for southeastern Missouri northern Arkansas and even parts of our viewing area McCoupin Montgomery and Fayette counties until seven o'clock anticipating more watches to be extended to the north and east with time here as we go into the afternoon and into the evening for today then our storm chances pick up really after two o'clock I think storms arrive but they exit pretty quickly fast movers here moving at high Highway speeds through the area, so we'll get that round of afternoon storms that are expected to be severe. And with that drier air, still going to help those temperatures get into those mid to upper 80s out there. 89 in Gilman, 88 in Muhammad, 86 in Forsyth, 85 in Lerna, 84 in Altamont. Here's the latest Storm Prediction Center outlook. We are under an enhanced risk now for most of our area. That's a change from this morning. We've upgraded that, brought that orange higher. The red area, moderate, four out of five, still primarily about I-70 into the south there. I-70 has just been a rough point for us here. There's no rhyme or reason why storms tend to be a little stronger down in southern Illinois, but we still expect strong storms possibly anywhere here, and any of those storms could have high winds and large hail, 70 to 80 mile per hour gusts. Perhaps a few storms have some tennis ball size hail, if not larger. And yes, for some as well, there could be a tornado threat with that here. Let's walk through future track. Two o'clock. We're quiet, but that's when I think our window opens. Notice these individual cells coming across the Mississippi River as we roll on through them. Any of these isolated cells that remain free from others, that's where we watch for a tornado potential and very large hail from those here. With time through three, four o'clock as they continue to move to the east, perhaps they start to cluster together more. See that backward C? That may allow for the wind risk to pick up and trade that for a lesser hail risk here. But when that exactly happens, not certain. Eventually it will happen with time. That's why we think that hail risk a little higher earlier, the wind risk a little higher later here. And uh, five, six o'clock, look, storms are beginning to exit pretty quickly. I think by seven, eight, pretty much out of here. And then we're done for the night from that uh, with some clear conditions uh, for the area. So tornado risk, I got it at a six in yellow here. I mean, it could be more of a five and a four as you get north here. Uh, we're sitting at a seven down south, so that's something to keep an eye on. As we look at that hail size, this is where those individual storms may come out here and have perhaps some tennis to baseball size hail. Not everyone gets that, but a couple of those storms could bring that risk with them. I think the best chance for that south of Springfield and Decatur, perhaps as far east as Mattoon Charleston in Effingham. Then the wind risk will take over here, likely to see that clustering wind uh, storm, windy storms moving off to the east, something we'll keep an eye on. Here's the other thing. We got some other weather alerts. First off, a special weather statement came out. Your WCIA3 weather app might have notified you. That's for fire weather concerns. Yeah, we got to talk about that and the potential for blowing dust in many of those same areas here, especially those that missed out on rain yesterday. The reason being is after these storms clear on through, look at these wind gusts picking up in the backside, 45 to 55 miles an hour, and that's something that we'll watch and keep a very close eye on. And then our relative humidity, really low. See that moisture starting to stream north ahead of that front? That helps the severe weather potential. Look at that dry air on the backside here. And uh, so that's going to be perhaps an issue for some of us as well. We've got the stormy side of the system and then the windy, potentially blowing dust and fire weather side of the system here on the back side. The Storm Prediction Center even highlighted some of our area for that fire weather concern. All right, so we get to the weekend. How about some good news, right? Overall, pretty quiet here. It will be a bit windy on Saturday. Sunday, 77, mostly sunny, not bad here. But as we look ahead, already at the next chance for severe weather around the corner. Monday, western Illinois, barely grazing our area. That probably would be Monday late into the night for a chance, but I'm not too concerned about that at this point. I'm more interested in Tuesday, where the Storm Prediction Center already highlighting uh, the risk in our area. Here's your seven-day forecast. Temperatures out there are going to be into the 80s today. It's already there. A warm, almost early summer day for us. But the humidity not as high at this point. We're going to watch the dew point values rise on him. You can see the quiet weekend here. Yes, still the windy on Saturday, but some scattered storm potential returns as we start next week. And then I didn't get much time to talk about this. I think uh, by the middle of next week and beyond, we've got some cooler weather coming. More early spring like. Uh, it's going to be a little bit chillier. Uh, but yeah. Not too crazy. Yeah, you know, two months ago we said, oh, that's warm. But now that we're getting into summer, we're kind of taking a step back. We're ready back. to dial it a little bit back, which yeah. is crazy. Right. So